people that walk through the doors of the Morgan County Courthouse. That's right there. You've probably never met a family so excited to stand in line. She's happy and she she said thank you and she's very appreciative to Channel 19 and the pastor for helping us. Among the items Katrina will need to properly register her home. We've got the letter there yeah. from Pastor Anderson and then you've got your uh, the title with you, right? Yes. Her mother Karen also has the notice that gave them a scare more than a month ago. She's on disability, I'm on disability, so there was there's no way we could pay it. Back in May, they were told by the county inspector's office they had to register Katrina's donated mobile home she received after the April 2011 tornadoes, but they couldn't properly register it until they had some sort of bill of sale or gift. Thanks to persistence from WHNT News 19 viewers, Pastor Dave Anderson of the now shuttered Cross Point Church messaged us back and wrote up a statement proving the mobile home came from their coffers. I'm really thankful that y'all helped us. With paperwork in hand, Karen and Katrina patiently waited their turn in line to right their unknown wrong. This is minor compared to what we went through. <laughs> <laughs> through every step, in addition to role of mother, Karen also served as interpreter. Katrina is 100% deaf. <laughs> yeah, I know. The Morgan County License Commissioner declined to do an interview with us, but tells me they had nothing to do with the notice the family received, but were more than happy to work with us to get Katrina registered. And here's the title. They even offered to work with us to waive some of the backdated late fees. Oh no, 156. They made up a majority of the large price tag, leaving them to only pay $50 to solve the problem. Thank y'all so much. You're welcome. We appreciate it. With the proper registration sticker in hand. We appreciate it so much. I'll take a hug. <laughs> we appreciate it. And deep appreciation in their hearts. Well, Y'all have done a wonderful job, and everybody that's been supportive of, of us, I thank God for all of it. They made their way back to make Katrina's home official in the eyes of the state. This is awesome. Katrina may not be able to put into words just how much this means to her. Glad to see it up there. <laughs> But sometimes a hug and a smile says more than words ever could. And I appreciate that so much. And hopefully today's registration fee is the last that Katrina will have to pay for. I found after digging into Alabama law that the state offers a renewal exception for anyone on 100% disability, which Katrina actually qualifies for because of her hearing disability. So Katrina will have to send in the proper paperwork for that exception when her tag expires, but that will happen later this fall. Wow. All right. Thanks, Chris. Good work. Great.